Good Friday morning to you and yours. I hope you are off to a fantastic weekend thus far. I just wanted to come with our word for today. We're coming from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. And it simply says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace that passes all understanding shall guard your heart and mine. This passage is one of my favorites, that and the verses below it as well. Um, because I don't know about you, but sometimes you can start with a thought, and that thought can just keep going and going. And before you know it, you've walked down a slippery slope in your mind, and you're worried, and you're anxious. And, and one little thought has just turned into a spiral of so many other thoughts. And God is saying, don't worry about stuff. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication, instead of worrying about it, pray about it. Whatever's on your mind, if you're worried about where your next meal is coming from, if you're worried about a bill, if you're worried about that relationship, turn it over to God. Pray about it and let your, and, and pray about it with thanksgiving. And then let your requests be made known unto God. Whatever's on your heart, let him know. He knows already, but verbalize it. Tell him. He's a, a loving Abba Father and wants to hear it straight from you. So don't worry about anything. Make your request known unto God with thanksgiving. Pray about things. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind. There's something freeing about releasing whatever is going on in your life, in your world, to God. It just frees you up. It frees up your mind, your thoughts, your anxiousness, your fear. Once you release the thing over to God, it's amazing how it can bless you. And, and, and you've emptied up space now um, so you can let the peace of God in. You've let out the anxiousness. You've let out the worry and the woes. And you, you're, you're open to receive the peace of God. And it'll guard your heart. It'll guard your mind from any of that other mess coming back in. So that is our, our scripture for today. Don't be anxious about anything, but pray about everything. And with thanksgiving, thanking God, oh, you've handled this. It's done. I'm not worried about it anymore. It's in your hands. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding. You won't even understand how much peace he's going to give you once you release stuff over to him. It'll guard your heart and your mind. And if you're feeling froggy, jump on over to those next few verses where it talks about, think about things that are pure and are lovely and are of good report. That's what needs to cloud and fill our minds. Not anxiousness, not worry, not doubt and fear. So that's our word for today, dearly beloved. I pray that it, it jumps out at you, it grabs you. Whenever you feel yourself getting anxious about something or worrying about something, that you would just dive into prayer, that you would just dive into thanking God, that you would release all that stuff and let the peace of God come in, take over, and, and bless your life. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that your word is ever so true, ever so amazing, uh, so alive, and we thank you for that. We want to put it into practice, Father God. We don't want to worry about anything, but we want to thank you, Lord God. Thank you that you've handled everything that concerns us. Thank you that um, you've got our lives in the palm of your hands. Thank you that you've got these situations under control. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise and glory. Um, thank you for being an awesome Abba Father, for loving us in spite of ourselves, for making ways out of no ways, for handling this and handling that. We just thank you, Lord God. And and we lay our, our all out before you, Lord God. Anything that's on our minds and our hearts, Lord God, we cast it before you. Because you said we could cast our cares on you because you care for us. So thank you, Lord God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answering us. And thank you for that peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for guarding our hearts and our minds. We just thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise all the glory in Jesus' name. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and um, that's it. Have a fa <laughs> that's it. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye.